that's number one. House of the year, instantly. <laughs> Guys, it is opening night of Halloween Horror 2022, HHN 31. We're checking into Cabana Bay right now for a little media event. We have access to film all 10 houses, all five scare zones. This is awesome, I'm so excited. We just checked in, we, we got a little media badge. They gave us a mystery box, it says never go alone. We're gonna open this at the end of the video. It's happening, it's happening. We're, we're here, we're officially at Universal. Oh, look at the lighting. I can smell the fog from here. We're waiting for like our group leader. I just wanna run in there. I see the lights are illuminated. We're officially inside the park, right? We've been waiting so long for this moment. Last year was you know, with the plexiglass and face masks. We were officially back this year. It's like back to normal. We've been here so much. It's it's crazy. It's almost, it's like an emotional, like religious experience being here right now that like it's finally happened and HHN 31 is here. Oh sh the pumpkin lord is ah look at him. Yeah, so where are you being sent over here? I want to go see the pumpkin lord. We are heading into the fog right now. Oh, give it to me. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, let's get the good stuff. Let's see. Oh, sh <laughs> oh, the fog. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that gargoyle. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, my God. No. I cannot wait to come through here at nighttime. Costumes look beautiful. We're heading to the foreign makeup show. We're gonna do kind of a pre-ceremony here for all the media. And we're heading to the oh, oh, they set up a whole party here. I was like, what are they serving? You look over here. There's a bunch of hands on a bus. Set up a whole theme dining experience for us in here. Now, I am gonna review a drink for you guys. We got the Burning Skull. It's gonna have tequila, Grand Gala liqueur, lime juice, simple syrup, mango nectar, pineapple juice, hellfire bitters, jalapeno, and basil concentrate. Put like tahim on it. Oh yeah, oh man. You gotta mix up the alcohol. Oh, that's very sweet. Then heat. It's like a sweet pineapple juice, right? Then you get a little kick of the lime. Then you get a little heat. And then it kind of like cools down with the simple syrup. Nine out of 10 on this drink. Major Sweets is out here. So Major Sweets, I'm trying to make some cookies. I know you're very good at adding in a secret recipe. What additives should I put into some special cookies? Uh, poison, I mean sugar. <laughs> These are all the RIPs that have their little luncheon. They put the HHN bear right there from the tribute store. I'm a, I'm a little worried now. I was just trying to go to the bathroom. Now I got pumpkins coming after me. <laughs> You look great today. You look great. <laughs> they had, they're having us go to the bathroom in the uh, the RIP area. Uh, we had to get the good stuff. I, I feel like I see a, re a resemblance right there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you having a good day? Always. There, there's a lot of victims. Oh, wait, I mean people around here. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we've had our drinks, we've had our food. Now we're gonna enter into the horror makeup show and just watch the whole show. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Are you ready for Halloween Horror Nights 31? Yes! Yes, Horror Like you guys, we are so excited to have each and every one of you guys here. You're about to embark on the RIP tour, guys. And you're about to check out the world's most premier Halloween event. It's gonna be so great, guys. We're talking about 10 amazing houses, five epic scare zones and two really dope shows. I know you guys are ready for it. In design, I need you guys to make some noise for Laura Song! Woo! Horror Nights 31, where this year we are celebrating the holiday that started it all. Halloween, October 31st. We are celebrating Halloween at Halloween Horror Nights. Woo! We are taking those traditional tropes like black cats and witches, ghosts and goblins, skeletons and scarecrows, and we're spinning it like an old Halloween vinyl album. Mm, Laura, see what you did there. You knew I was in the basement. I, I, know, I know you had those spooky tunes. Let me give us some spooky tunes. Yeah, Set yeah. the mood for you. Yep. Here we go. So we're spinning 
bring those old Halloween traditions into new, twisted Halloween Horror Nights nightmares. Like Raphael said, we have 10 incredible haunted houses. We have five incredible scare zones. We have Horrors of Halloween featuring the Gord Lord himself, the Pumpkin Lord. Yeah. Yeah. We work on Halloween 365 days a year, right? We never stop thinking about new characters and new environments and new stories to tell for Halloween. Um, right now, we're working, we've already got some new original ideas for Halloween 2023. Yeah, so we started before we opened this event. So you're you you're already working like a whole year in advance. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. I just real quick, I don't know why it's skipping like this. It's we'll like this out. I don't know. It, Is that your microphone? No. It's not my microphone. No. Hey, who's my I don't think you guys understand how happy I am right now. The RIP tour has started. We're off to uh, the Scarecrow Scare Zone right now. And then we're gonna go to uh, Descendants of Destruction. I just, I'm so happy. It's like a dream come true. The first Scare Zone we're gonna do to kick off tonight is right beyond this sign. It's gonna be Scarecrow Cursed Soil. So you might remember if you've been here before, back in 2017 we had Scarecrow the, the Reaping. There we go. Now, this scare zone is one of actually a few sequels we're doing this year. We're going from a house to a scare zone. Back then you were going to the barn. Scarecrow's coming to life, coming after you. Now, we expand that story. You're on that Nebraska farm. We're going beyond the barn. We're going through the barn and more. Those scarecrows, they're still out and about and they're hungrier than ever, angrier than ever, more carnage than ever. So you're gonna go through this scare zone, look from your right, your left, even above you at times. To watch out for these scarecrows, my favorite Halloween monsters of light. So you guys ready for our first zone? Yeah! All right, now this is the scare zone that I was most hyped for, so let's see how it is. It looks breathtaking during the nighttime. Let's go ahead and talk about our first two houses for the evening, and we could not be a better back-to-back -back combo. We're gonna do Bugs Eating the Live and then Descendants of Destruction. Let's talk about our second house first. Are you okay? <laughs> All right. Our second house is gonna be Bugs Eating the Live. It's 1950s, the decade of innovation, and we're at the World's Tech Fair at the BuzzCon, the leader of pest control and home technology, their home of the future. And they're here to show off their new system, the exterminator system. It's perfect for everything, keeping your house cold, keeping your house hot, and most importantly, keeping out the bugs. They do this with one of their most advanced, most powerful pesticide poisonous formulas yet. However, when they start pumping in that poison, they start pumping in that pesticide, it's a little too much. The system starts to overpressure. Things start to go haywire. The poison itself, the pesticide, hits the tanks where all the bugs are at. They're using the demonstrations for it. And then it actually has a reverse effect. It doesn't kill them. They mutate, they grow, they nest, they reproduce, they hybridize with us. And it gets everywhere, floor to ceiling, top to bottom, maggots, roaches, ants, flies, you name it. They're running loose in this house. So. You got any bug-like fears? You're gonna love this house. I cannot wait. I just can't wait to hear it in there. So icky and gross. This way. Oh God, what is 
going on? Oh, sh and there's water and strings and if you don't like bugs you're gonna hate that with party patch i hated that giant spiders the maggots got me descendants of destruction it's the future the air is po too poisonous to breathe so the remaining humans they decided to take a chance let's go underground in the centuries old new york city subway system and there the resources start to dwindle over time so they figured all right let's go deeper and deeper and deeper but as things get worse and worse and worse they turn on each other for resources. They turn on each other for food. And not only are they becoming monsters because they're cannibalizing each other, the deeper they go, the more they de-evolve. The deeper we go, and that's what we're gonna do. We are now refuge, we're seeking refuge in here, but we're gonna see the monstrosities that these humans, or what was once humans, have become. All right, my friends, are we ready to go do Descendants? Yeah! All right, my friends, let's go do it. It's right behind. All right, we're headed in. The facade is like an abandoned building, it looks like. Monsters House. This was my most hyped house for all of HHN this year. I hope it's good. They have not made a bad Universal Monsters House. Here's the story. The Wolfman, Lawrence Halbert, we all know him, cursed to forever every full moon to turn into a werewolf. 
He's down in his luck. He's doing anything. He would do anything to get rid of this curse. Until a secret benefactor slips a note under his door. It says, hey, there's an amulet in Egypt that might be able to help you solve that curse. So Lawrence Talbot takes advantage of that. He goes to Egypt, fig figuring if I get that amulet, that will fix things. But it's not that simple. Because this amulet is in the tomb of the mummy. So he's protected him and his mummy poured to put that away. We're going to protect it at any cost. But before the end of this house, we're going to figure out who that secret benefactor is. If you haven't figured it out, it's that one name I've left out so far. Dracula. So my friends, let's go ahead and do Universal Monsters. Again, the weekend after hours nightmare. Are we ready, my friends? Let's go. Right, here we go. Universal Monsters Legend. Right, they're playing a little uh, video over here. We don't have enough time to watch it, but it's kind of giving the whole backstory behind the house. Oh, here we go. a very impressive house. Grand in scale. You felt like you were transported to Egypt. Uh, I don't think um, the Wolfman's gonna make it to part two. It's gonna be the weekend after hours nightmare. We're gonna go into the mind of the weekend as he brings together his album after hours. So pretty much, here's kind of the story. We're in Vegas, we're partying, it's late, we're going hard, but we're still looking for that next level of escapism. So we're trying to find where we're going, where we're going next until we hear about an exclusive party, exclusive club. Sounds like our scene, but it's an abandoned warehouse. So we make our way over there, we shuffle around town, we get there, we go inside, and we see something inside. We see a man in a chair, tubes, everything, wires, chat coming from his head to monitors around him. It's, who is this, who is this? All right, so we're gonna be going into the weekend next. Uh, we're gonna get copyrighted, so uh, we're gonna do different uh, music walking in the house. I'm sorry you can't hear the actual sights and sounds, but.
This is so trippy. What is going on? Oh God! There's so much happening right now. I went in with very low expectations for the weekend house. I loved it, it was a lot of fun. Spooky and creepy and you just want to dance through the whole entire house. There's like these creepy toad people and the mirrors got to me, yeah. It was, it was a quality house. Oh no, the Chucky photo op is closed, no. All right, there you go my friends, all right. So, before we get to the horrors of Blumhouse, we gotta go through one scare zone, it's called Conjure the Dark. I like this one, because this one goes all the way back to the first original All Hallows Eve sort of the origin of Halloween. You're gonna go up here, you're gonna see the sorceress. She is drawing power from these crystals, these runes out here, to bring about and summon demons and other dark concepts that makes Halloween what it is. So you're gonna go in here, you should see her up there, amounts to cauldron, conjuring up demons, conjuring up spirits, conjuring everything that we know now, all the evils and more of Halloween, or as we know now, as all Hallows Eve. Hounds through the power of this blood forever bound. A night of harvest is upon us. Let us together bask in the glory of our customs. Drink, my devoted minions. Drink. Wind, souls are taken, bones to bind. The portal is open. I can feel the presence breaking through. <gasps> ah. I really enjoyed the makeup and the mask and the prosthetics that they put on those characters. It was wonderful. They're creepy and amazing. We're going into a very scary area, the Fast and Furious ride area. We got ourselves the Horrors of Blumhouse. This is actually the third collaboration we've done with Blumhouse Productions. You've probably heard of them. They specialize in some fantastic horror films, great concepts, great creativity, and great scares. So in this house, we have a double feature. We got 2020's Freaky, directed by Christopher Landon, who also did Happy Death Day, who made a previous appearance here at Halloween Horror Nights, and Black 
phone from this year, directed by Scott Derrickson, which, by the way, also made an appearance at uh, Halloween Horror Nights in the first Horrors of Blumhouse with Sinister. Now, you guys haven't seen them, a quick refresher. Freaky, kind of like a Freaky Friday situation. You're following high schooler Millie, she switches, body with the, switches bodies with the butcher. She has until midnight, a short period of time before she gets her bodies back, or they're stuck forever. Then you have the black phone. We're following Finn, our main character. He's been taken by the Grabber, and we're going inside the Grabber's basement. Now there, we're gonna follow Finn as he has a supernatural black phone that's on the wall. This phone has a, well, essentially a supernatural link to the Grabber's previous victims. And these previous victims are gonna help out Finn figure out, and us, how to escape the Grabber's basement before we become the next victim. All right, my friends, go ahead outside, hit up Freaky and the black phone. So they have us going through the entire family backyard, right? Where Dom has all of his Coronas in the barbecue. This is the queue that goes into the black phone. I'm going into a secret area I've never been. Is Dom here? Is he waiting for us? Dom, he's ready. It's a cage fight. All right, we're heading to the Blumhouse house now. the Fast and the Furious Q music in there. We're heading into the black phone now. Gotta watch out for the grabber. The community is closed. Ah! A traditional Halloween. So what, what it is, we're in 1954 in a small New York town. See, we're going here where they're looking to revitalize the Tribute Theater. Well, they have a benefactor. His name is Major Sweets. He runs this candy company on the other side of town. Well, he's decided to help fund this to also give away some free candy because it's a Halloween festival. You got floats, you got kids in costumes, you have contests, all that good stuff, all that Great classic Halloween. However, all the candy Major Sweets has given out has a little something extra inside. And all the kids are eating it. All the kids are suddenly changing. More aggressive, more violent, more unhinged. So all the adults now are unsafe as the kids in this village, in this town and festival are running wild and none of us are safe. 
So we're gonna go through Sweet's Revenge before we get to our next house, is that right? Samira! I'm Sports are very impressive. The tr trick or treat house on the trick or treat scare zone, the kid Bobby, that's the same reused prop. The line to get into the tribute store wraps around the building. Back up. Selling the 1978 classic. I'm sure you guys are familiar with having Halloween here a few times in the past. We had the original 2014. We had Halloween 2, Welcome to Haddonfield in 2016, and then Halloween 4, The Curse of Michael Myers in 2018. But this one, we're here to celebrate wrapping up that new trilogy here. We're gonna tell the original story from different angles, different rooms, different moments you haven't seen yet. We're gonna tell this story linear, just like you're going through the movie itself, starting all the way back with that original flashback of Michael as a kid and jumping forward to 1978 Halloween nights. All right, my friends, so let's go ahead and do Halloween, then Hell Block Horror. All right, my friends, we're gonna go this way. Thank you so much. Prison. Not Hellgate, Hell's Gate. Now Hell's Gate Prison is known for containing and holding some of the worst of the worst monsters that are known. Now, we're at this point where the interdimensional power source is coming apart. It's going, it's ready to explode at any moment. Now, because of that, the monsters are set loose.
God abandoned. Now the spirits are restless, wandering about on their own since nobody is here. Now they have two winged reapers, death and This lady just brought her child. There's two children. Why do you? Oh my God! All right. The next scare zone is the one we've all been waiting for. The Pumpkin Lord. The master of ceremonies at Source for Halloween Horror Nights. The Pumpkin Lord. Our next zone here is going to be the horrors of Halloween. Essentially, it's our our entryway, our welcoming scare zone to the event. You're going to see a little bit of all our other scare zones in here. Something from Conjure the Dark. Something from over here. Something that just honestly embodies that entire Halloween feel. But the one who introduces us all to this is going to be the return of the Pumpkin Lord. More Halloween, more power. I like this one. We're going into the 1920s Prohibition era. We're going into, well, this coven ran pub and bar. They're known for fantastic brews. Well, these brews have a secret ingredient. It's our blood. And they need it. And they need that so they can smuggle us out to other covens around the world. What's the password? What's the password? 
Now, that house, I cannot wait to do the uh, behind the scenes tour. Alice and I will be doing that in like a couple weeks. We can see everything with the lights on. There's a lot of detail in there. We're gonna do Fiesta de Chupacabras first. This one, we're gonna go inside here. We're going to a Latin American village that is celebrating Fiesta, to Fiesta de Sangre. Here, we're basically tourists. We're going into the city. We hear about the Fiesta de Chupacabras. We love it, we wanna go here. We wanna partake in this event. But it turns out, the reason why to the locals it's called Fiesta de Sangre is because it's a sacrifice for blood towards or for the Chupacabras. But instead of sacrificing themselves, why not sacrifice some tourists? And that's us. So we're being caught in the middle of this festival as sacrifice. It's fruit that I don't get. expansive set like it felt huge felt like you were in the middle of a city love the puppets big fan of puppets love the chupacabra puppets jumping out and lunging at you so we're talking about dead man's pure winter's wake now this one has a beautiful haunting story so make sure i get through this one completely now you probably know we had a scare zone called dead man's war back in 2016 so we're expanding that story much much more here in dead man's pure winter's wake here we are in a winter battered village. They've already hunkered down for a strong, powerful winter. But there's a girl named Sophia, a bit of a prodigy, a violinist. But she's really carrying that burden way too much. So she goes out to Dead Man's Pier, a, basically a, a forgotten, silent reminder to all the forgotten sailors out lost at sea. When she's going there, she's ready to throw away this violin, get rid of that burden of being a prodigy all she wants uh, forever. She meets a sea captain who convinces her to play one more song. So as she plays this song, she notices a fog rolling in. And she starts to hear screams in the distance from her village. And she starts seeing things, hearing things, the carnage, the violence, the mayhem, as undead sailors come from the sea into the village to basically make sure that their memories are never forgotten. This house is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to share it with you. We come to the final house of the night.
piercing the cold deep. Can you hear her song? We just finished, breathtaking, 10 out of 10. That is the whole reason you come to Howling Horror Nights to experience a house like that. Creative team at their best. The set design, beautiful, so expansive and vibrant. That house leaves you speechless. That's number one, house of the year, instantly. Best house of Howling Horror Nights 2022. I am not gonna lie, every single house, my goodness, love the hype. I've been super hyped for this like event for months now. I am so glad I got to be the one to share those with you. I hope you guys enjoyed me as much as you enjoyed the event, and I enjoyed you. Thank you so much. Okay, that is a wrap. All right, it's time to go home and talk about all the houses that I unboxed that box that we have now. Peter, how was your HHN? It was a lot of fun, Kevin. Yeah. I mean, you you were here, so it has to be. Well, we were in diff different groups, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good luck editing. Bye, Kevin. Okay, everyone, we are back at home. We just finished Halloween Hornets 2022. Wow. Today was insane. Um, before we talk about that, it would mean a lot if you guys could hit the like button. It really helps out the videos when you guys do. Let's talk about Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, first up, this was like the ultimate HHN fan experience. I was nerding out the entire time. It was so cool. We got So we got like RIP tour guide, right? So we got to skip all the lines. We went into 10 houses, five scare zones. We were going at like a breakneck pace though. That's why over the course of the season, right? I'm gonna kind of do a deeper dive into the scare zone to guys show you that stuff. It was different for me experiencing HHN houses this time because I was kind of like looking through the camera. I don't think I can officially give like my full reviews yet until I can like walk through the houses multiple times. Uh, but I can tell you the Dead Man's Pier is amazing. And I will say my least favorite house was the Hell Block Whore, the Mishmash. Let's open this box. Never go alone. Hey, ooh. I don't know what this is. Who is that girl? It says life advice. They gave us the Universal Monster socks. I don't have these yet. Little lanyard pouch. The Studio Screamer. Lanyard. Oh, this is cool. So this was the poster that they put on like, it was like the last couple days in the movie retro tribute store. They put this on the wall to give a little non Easter egg to the next tribute store. I don't even think they sell this poster. And there's a little boo right there. And then they gave us this t-shirt with all the uh, different monsters and everything that we experienced. This has been an experience for all of us, right? This is like the Super Bowl of what we did. We've been documenting this. I think we did like 21 videos in 30 days. It's been a long, 
long experience to get to this point. I just wanna thank Universal. Thank you guys so much for inviting me out. It was like the experience of a lifetime. Be able to film and document these houses for all of you guys and have the RIP tour guide. It was, it was amazing. This night was like one of those like core memories, right? They just had like so much fun. Now you guys are wondering what happens next. We're gonna do deeper dives in all the different foods, all the different drinks, all the different offerings that they have to offer for HHN. We're gonna cover it all for you guys. This is gonna be the number one place on all of YouTube covering all things Halloween Horror Nights at Universal City. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. We love, love the family. family. But do you love the rain? No. no. Because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things Halloween Horror Nights and spooky and scary and universal. All right, guys. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>